Can I ask a question about your mom's body? Absolutely not. <laughs> and that is I serious. truly feel like someone just <laughs> choked me. <laughs>
and hasn't killed anyone or hurt anyone. Uh, and you get there, okay. and guess who else is there? Some dude who's a barista and says his yeah. favorite interests are whiskey and Old Crow Medicine Show. Oh, <laughs> that guy who every time you talk about a time machine goes, I would go back and kill Hitler. That yes. guy's there, because that's Ooh. what he's doing. I have used my time machine to go back and kill him. Oh. Before he kills Hitler, because the butterfly effect is real. I love and that. And do you know what yeah. kind of chain of reactions that would set off? No. Sorry, yeah. Brian, or <laughs> Jesse, yeah. or Micah, but yeah. I'm here to kill you. So before when I stopped you, mm -hmm. uh, and I said you're like eighty percent of the way through, and the, and you the want fallout him. of that was that a lot of people would die, concentration camps would happen, and then I like weirdly backpedaled, yeah. but yes. you, still the bottom it line turns is out, that those it turns out that happen. wasn't enough concentration camp for you. You wanted more concentration camp. <laughs> so don't do this to me. Is, so you are you're gonna kill basically you want to <clears throat> kill people who are against Hitler. I would like everyone to know that for this show we submit four answers. <laughs> Two of them were chosen for us and mine were written on a layover in Detroit and I was not expecting this to get picked. What? So yes, what I want Hitler your... to reign full power. <laughs> I want that. What is your beef with oh. people who want to go back in time and kill Hitler? I think it's the most tired answer. I and agree. that's why I'm true. sick of being at the party. I yeah. want to start going to parties, and when someone is boring, go, I'm sorry, but I'm very bored, and then yeah. I want to walk away. Yes. Can I That's do, the can life I, I want to Can I do one thing? Hmm. Jesse, do you remember what, what, what one of my answers was? <laughs> go back in time and kill Hitler? No, it wasn't. It was go. And his name is fucking Grant in I restaurant in New York. I love Old Crow Medicine <laughs> show. When you think of Katie Maravich, what word comes to mind? Sexual. Regal. Sexual regal. Ooh, yeah. Anastasia is what I was going for. Anastasia. Very sexual regal. That's yeah, actually, yes. yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We were right. Anyway, <laughs> moving let me, on. Anastasia <laughs> was the youngest daughter in the Romanov family, mm -hmm. and they were the last monarchy of Russia. I am obsessed with Anastasia. Mm -hmm. And I have a very strange fantasy, which is that I am a descendant of hers. And that one day I'll be able to, I'm about to get murdered, and then I say, <laughs> I am the remaining Romanov, and I am the heir to the throne of Russia. And then I get to use the power and take over the country. For me, personally, the best use of a time machine is to go back in time and save little Anastasia. She shouldn't have died. She was a teen, it was very sad, she was shot to death. Mm. Anyway, I would save her, I'd put her in hiding, and then around the time when the movie came out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd show her the movie because it's so cool. It's so Hold cool. On. Around the time the movie came out, I'd reveal her to the world, and she'd be an old woman, but it would be satisfying for me. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> I yes. love thinking of you as a little girl and like, this is your fantasy. It's still my fantasy. Excellent. Grant, would you like to go again? I'd love to. I would say that the best use of a time machine is go to the end of the world. Mm, love yes. It. I do really like that. Just to see. How scary if you were in front of a time machine and you saw it only went to a certain year. <gasps> Wow. I don't even know. Would you really be like, then take me there? Oh, like, what? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's scary. Great. That's fascinating. Oh. Oh. And I'm imagining the end of the world as being, you know, when the sun swallows us up. Mm. Yes. Whoa. You think we'll still be around? No, because we because the sun will be too close at that yeah. point. Yeah, I'm rethinking that. Yeah. No, I think, well, I'll let you finish. Well, I'm just like, I, what I really am interested in because I don't really care about the geology of it, but the end of humanity. <laughs> I want to see how it. I want to see how it wraps up. I'm very. I, I'm I, very honestly, curious. Honestly, yes. Mm -hmm. So curious about. That. I mean, it might happen in the next couple months. It's gonna happen, it's but like, it might as well be there. I totally but, agree. But the thing is, if you're, if you have the time machine now, you can still go to see the end of the world because that would still be fascinating. Like it doesn't movie. matter. It doesn't matter Oof. if there are people or not. Like it would still, I think well, it would be fascinating to see the sun swallow. I yeah. guess if you're protected in the time machine. I think humanity will kill itself way before the sun I comes. I think you're right. Whoa. I think the planet will be gone before the sun. I think we as a species will destroy one oh, another I don't way think so. before. I don't think so. Let's bet on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Jess. Next one is 
Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh. Like most young girls, I had a huge crush on Philip Seymour Hoffman. What? <laughs> I thought he was so sexy. The, he looks like a band-aid. No, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a band-aid. <laughs> I would see every movie he was in. Yeah. I thought he was so sexy. I'd watch him over and over again. I'd watch Capote like 20 times. He was an amazing actor, but he was not hot. He's yeah. very hot. What? I'll, I'm what the yeah. fuck is going on? I went to New York and saw a play because he was in it. It was called Jacko's Boating. I genuinely thought if we met, we would hit it off. Oh, he was no. so old. I like waited after that show to meet him. <laughs> oh. I, that's yes, adorable. This is so cute. That's adorable. So I would use my time machine to go back and give us the shot that we never had. I would figure out where he was. Turns out he gave himself the shot. No! Oh, no! You fucker! The my heroin love would epidemic have saved him. is real. It's very serious. It Your love serious. would have saved him. My love would have saved him. Sure. Your love oh, would have saved him. Wait, what would you have done? Hmm. <laughs> I it Should we role play? Should I be Philip? I'll be Philip Seymour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm yeah. worried about this. Go ahead, this. do that. So I'm. Hi. <laughs> I'm doing him as Capote. I'm doing Philip. I'm doing Phil Hoffman as Capote. Yeah. <laughs> you lack all of everything he has. <laughs> Whoa. Go ahead. Uh, great. Okay, so my next idea for the best use of a time machine is. Freaky queer middle school <gasps> dance. Yes. Oh. I spent my middle school years completely confused. <laughs> Not quite sure what was going on. My first middle school dance, no one I was interested in I could dance with. It mm. just felt like I had been airdropped into like an upside down world of like Aww. learning the rules. Yeah. So I would use my time machine to go back in time yes. to when I was like 12 and you were busting it in your mom's basement. <laughs> I would go collect all my queer friends from now, wherever they are, and I would invite version? all of us in our 12-year-old oh, versions oh to God. one big dance, and it would be like, we would all have that first dance experience, but it would be all queers. I love this. Yeah, like you would get a letter in the mail inviting you to this dance, it would like Hogwarts style. <laughs> I would dress up oh as an my owl. God. I wouldn't be able to go back young, so I would have to look like this. <laughs> and just be me. You wouldn't Come get to be young there? I don't know how a time machine works. Can I, I put the time machine young, on me? You can be a grown woman going to 12 I mean, years. I'm aware, yeah. Warehouse. I think you if I'm dressed like an owl, to... I think it's fine. And I think you'd just invite your, your younger self to this party. <gasps> ah, cute! Oh, that's very cute. I would be in a puka shell necklace and oh. a marine corps shirt that says, don't even think about a leash, because I was very obsessed with the marines. <laughs> if I may, though, imagine you are your 12-year-old self mm -hmm. and somebody invites you to a freaky queer middle school dance. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to advertise I wanna know, it like this. I want to know. How many mm. how many queer kids would actually come to that? No, I would make them. I mean, I already used this time machine. I'm going to yes. kidnap everyone that I'm now friends with. Force dressed as an owl. I'm going to be in a Corvette. I'm going to go and I'm going to get them. Yeah. I'm dressed as an owl, Grant. So Kid that, friendly. That's not a middle school dance. I don't think you understand <laughs> I you wanna, how the owl makes all of this. You want to take a bunch of 12 year olds to an adult queer dance party. No. No, I want to make yeah. a middle school looking dance and invite all of them. But I know everyone lives around the country, so I'm going to have to, you know, spend a lot of money to get them all there. Yes. But I'll do it. And you don't have to advertise. And I'll it. do it by yeah. any means necessary. You could just Grant. do this. Like, this, mm -hmm. you don't really need a time machine. You could just have this party. She wants no, to do it first. I want all, all, like, us when we were, like, the young. The 12 year old versions of us. You don't yes. have to pretend you to go with somebody anymore. Hated yes. me when I was 12. I know yes. that. <laughs> I would have been Me at 12 was crazy. I just remember uh, how tight my pants those. were. Yes, I had the same thing. I wore a lot so of peasant tight. tops. I had like a little camel toe all the time. <laughs> Ew, why did you say that so hot? <laughs> that was so exciting. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You I are freaking me out today. <laughs> Who are you anymore? I was with a little camel toe. <laughs> I need you to stop. I can't help it. I'm a sexual. I thing. need everyone to clear out of here while I jerk it. Here's my idea: fertility drugs. What's something you guys know about me? You have a dog. You have lupus. Okay. You I, love Anastasia. 
Yes, thank you. I was going to say I've always wanted to be a twin, an identical twin. Oh. And was I supposed to guess that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, was I supposed to guess that? <laughs> anyway, this is my plan. I would go back to time to when I was being conceived. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> and Christ. I would sneak fertility pills into my mom's food. Vagina. Oh, God, it's worse. <laughs> my mom's vagina. I would drug my mom so that when I was conceived, I'd be m multiples. I'd be an octuplet. I'd be one of eight. One of eight? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, a play? <laughs> one of eight? No, no. no. <laughs> Here's the thing. This would solve so many problems for me. Because, let me tell you, I would have identical siblings. Mm -hmm. They'd all be, look like me. I've always wanted this. Number two, my family would be given a reality TV show because we're octuplets, and that's wild. I will say... We would make a lot of money. I think Octomom had different looking children, no, right? Were any of them twins? Mine would... I'd be all twin. How can I you don't know if we can do that. I'd be all twins. Okay. <laughs> can I ask a question about your mom's body? Mm, absolutely not. <laughs> and that is serious. I truly feel like someone just choked <laughs> me. I just, I mean, yeah. you... She told you no. <laughs> <laughs> My God, Greg. I Time's up on no. whatever that question is. <laughs> Time's up. Yeah, but eight, eight kids important. will ruin your body. Is that... Your point. Was that what you were going to say? Because that is a well, lot. Well, what I was going to ask, and I, this isn't me asking. Um, I'm going to kill you. Is, <laughs> that's you, you, are so, you are somewhat petite. And I would imagine yes. that your mother is probably also somewhat yes. petite. Carrying eight yeah. babies Scary. to term. You could kill your mother. Fantastic job. Now it is time to eliminate, and then I will rank. Grant, I'm going to turn to you first. Which of these eight do you want to see in the top three? One of the greatest actors of our generation <gasps> oh my God. is Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yes. Uh, a real tragic loss yes. for, uh, uh, for art in general. Is this what you're choosing? I'm going to choose Philip Seymour Hoffman. Jess? I have to go with Freaky Queer yes. Middle School of Dance. Course. It's the most beautiful one besides Philip. Allie? It's hard. I do really like Anastasia, because I know how that important that is to so a lot of people important. I know. But I unfortunately have to go with End of the World. I would love to see yes. how long the world goes. I would love to believe that it's so far in the future, like the good, the force of good in the world has kept it afloat for a really oh. long time. But also it could be 2028. <laughs> Perfect. At this time, I will now invite you to dramatically Throw away your cards. No, don't rip it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do we need it? It's too late. Too much drama. Too late. Too late. <laughs> In third place, we have Philip Seymour Hoffman. Ooh. I like it, but it is very personal to you. In second place, we have End of the World. Ooh. And in first place, we have what I think is the nicest idea, and also I hope it happens. Freaky Queer Middle School Dance. Woo! Yay! Well, this has been The Rank Room. If you have any suggestions for questions that you need answered, please leave them in the comments. Bye! Goodbye. Goodbye! Hi, it's Katie Mirovich from College Humor. If you want to subscribe, click over here. And for more fun stuff, click over here. And if you want access to College Humor's secret site, make sure you send your social security number, your credit card information, and your mother's maiden name in a private message to me.